the Android Wear Lollipop update has a few new features. Let's take a look at them. First, we'll go into Settings. And we'll go down to About to show that we are indeed running Android 5.0.1. All right, then prior to the update, swiping down would just give you the option to see your battery percentage and mute your notifications. But now swiping down gives you the option to, if you have a Lollipop connected device, you can switch between all notifications, none, and priority. And you can see as I change that, switching them on my wrist does switch it in the status bar on my phone. Okay. Swiping to the left, we see theater mode, which basically turns the watch off or puts it in an extended hibernation mode until you turn the screen back on using the button. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off. We also have sunlight mode, which is basically an ultra bright mode for when you're outside. And that will actually adjust pretty quickly as soon as you tap it. So if you're indoors, you don't need to turn sunlight mode on and off. Just need to turn it on and then it will readjust when necessary. And a quick settings menu, which up until now, the only way to, be get, to get into settings was to push and hold on the side button. And as you saw, that's not the easiest way to do it. Uh, glad that there's a button for that now. In the companion app, with the Lollipop update, you now have the ability to change watch faces directly from the app. And you also have the ability to take a wearable screenshot from the app. So right here, it will take a screenshot and in your settings bar or your status bar here, you have the opportunity to go ahead and share that screenshot wherever you want. 